right, so let's go back here. Play this in full. We got some set variations. <laughs> nice. Cool. All right. I'd be careful with this dark background. It helps with this silhouette, but we're starting to kind of lose part of the body here. It looks really nice. I just look at maximum silhouette visibility and not having also all those lines. It kind of, not that it adds tangents to something moving that fast, but it just, it could be interesting to keep this, you know, as clean as possible while having something like that, which could be cool. Timing wise, it feels a bit slow through there. Warren, just a bit. Of course, the more I look at it, the more I get used to it. Mainly I'm reac reacting to it because this feels really fast. This still has that feeling of being pulled down. But if you do that, then I would speed up this. Zip! Bit of a longer hold up here. And I'm talking like two, three frames. And then you can zip down. So it's more like a... That type of feel versus, hey, realistic nut. <laughs> also, this gets really fast. That, this is over two frames. Two, three frames. Really, really fast. But then, there's a couple of things. It's suddenly fast. So it's, a, it's a weird style break of speed where I'm losing the sense of weight through that. And even if you would keep it that fast, then that recovery, she would tumble one more time or halfway or be up here and then hand down here. It's just odd to see such a speed up and then the stop is so quick as well. And after that, it's kind of slow again where it's... Also, her getting off feels a bit up and then forward versus forward. Because there's so much forward momentum that this feels more like a transitional, I gotta get up and now this is new animation. So you have to kind of look at consistency in terms of, okay, what's the style? How zippy do you want to be? And then stay with that. Because then here, this feels kind of slowish okay. But then this feels suddenly almost too fast. This feels like an actor on wires traveling too far. Given the amount of anticipation or almost lack thereof, that there's almost no squash their anticipation for a massive jump. And that jump feels like it's going this way versus she would be. Hold on. If I do this, it's, I know it's a moving camera, but it feels like if you're going like that, like her body will be out like this, and she will be yeah, like that, you know, really leaning towards this versus I'm going to go and jump up this way, body wise, line of action, but I'm actually traveling this way. <sighs> Same thing here, just a massive jump. So I would really, really go down. And then on this would be, this is where I would speed up again. This is almost too slow. So it would be from here, but then this would be full on oh, stretch, arms up as well. Like everything goes from this massive from here to here, arms up as well. I want to go oh, really. This one, I still feel. It's odd because of we're getting there and then she has, I know it continues with her legs as we talked about. And I think leg wise, it feels good. This just feels weirdly stiff where, again, we're traveling this way, but we're pointed this way. There's something where I will keep her a bit lower this way. Like she can always bring her arms up. It's almost like she wants to be like this body wise and arms are here. Because the thing that I'm reacting to as well is that this feels very stiff. And then she hits this. And then it just kind of continues. Where I almost want to see a little bit of compression in the arms. Heck goes forward. And then she might go back into a stretch like this when she's at the end. I don't know if you can find some reference in there too. The other thing too is that this feels... This would almost have to be like on a mechanical thing where... That move up is just always going to be what it is. It feels like if this swings, you know, and this is just some stick and some strings there. I know it's thicker, but 
and someone's jumping and, and heading to this and holding on to this is that that momentum of this going up will be interrupted and be slower, if that makes sense. This goes up at a certain amount of you know spacing and then bam, this is now a force that A has weight but also goes this way. So it will kind of slow down that spacing suddenly, I would say. This also feels a bit of a disconnect there. Again, it feels a bit slow. This feels almost like you want to hold this up here and then you want to feel that, oh, and get into this. Where again, this feels all a bit even and slow. We're going to go, it's going to go fast, hold, fast. Cool though. And then this as well, where he feels a bit stiff. Watch out, you got to really bring those legs over that to hold on to it. And it feels like you can almost hold on to, and by now that leg, that arm would be lower. It's like, feeling like the one nice straight line between his arm and her so it doesn't have that stiff feel like this but then this feels pretty okay and then this feels like she's suddenly launched and we're much faster in this spacing suddenly this feels like this is a vacuum and she gets sucked through it doesn't feel like this is the natural timing there and then this just stop so abruptly like this amount of speed would be if i play this 25 percent faster let me just see yeah it's funny it's like some parts are too slow uh, too fast then kind of better bit uh, slow uh, a bit better oops slow whoa too fast slow so it's kind of you're a bit all over the place in terms of timing so to me, it feels like really nailing down the basic timing. And if that's a pain with her like that, you can always put in a, just a sphere and then kind of look at the overall feel of what is the ball doing? Boom, boom, boom. And all of that, like all of those moments there. I hope that makes sense. I like the, the evolution of this. And this part I really like where we are following the character, the camera is traveling. All of that is cool. This would be fun if this would Super Mario style come together and stomp. This go, this closes, then this closes. <laughs> anyway, but that is that. And then this would be rotating or something. I don't know. This is for later. But yeah, these are my general thoughts on the timing. All right. Hope that helps. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.